hello and welcome today we have a xiaomi redmi 12c for a screen replacement and disassembly this video is for informational purposes only and i am not responsible if you damage your phone trying this at home first we are going to eject the sim tray and then get an opening tool and pry it in between the screen's bezel but not near the glass and use this leverage motion be extra careful around your volume and power button and go on with the rest of the phone so detach the back cover from the frame and when you are finished wait just a second because you have a fingerprint sensor on the back and we don't know the length of this cable so let's use some heat as you can see there is a double-sided tape in here so let's use a hair dryer to heat up this area and gently lift it up Okay, so we managed to get the back cover lifted, but there is a very, very short cable on the fingerprint sensor. So this means you have to detach the fingerprint sensor from the back cover. And let's see, try not to break it because it has a very small flex cable okay so this happened let's see let's cut this double-sided tape because otherwise it will only um, stretch so let's try to get this in place like that get the back cover away and Next, we need to get all the screws out. So, get a Phillips screwdriver. It's a 1.5. And remove the screws. The screws are magnetic. And until now, it seems that all the screws are the same size. I don't know if you noticed, but we have a missing screw in here. Continue with the bottom part. Next, we need to lift 
these shields carefully so like that be careful so you don't tear your fingerprint sensor flex cable here we have the NFC connection points and the NFC antenna disconnect the battery disconnect the screen and let's disconnect the fingerprint sensor I always like to test the screen before replacing it on the phone so the screen is working properly and we have a clear image everything is fine touch screen is also working properly so this means we can go on replacing the screen so let's disconnect the battery after powering off the phone let's disconnect let's also disconnect the screen and disconnect the fingerprint sensor again let's get the buzzer out let's see we need to get something in here like that so this is the speaker loudspeaker or buzzer let's disconnect this from the charging board and lift the antenna cable up from its groove and try to lift the charging board up carefully we do have some plastic brackets one in here yes and one in here the the goal is to not to damage the charging board but sometimes these plastic brackets are so tough so I I'd rather break the plastic brackets than damage the charging board so this is what I did we got the vibration motor out and we are going to get the motherboard out also let's see check to see if you have any screws on the motherboard if you don't try to lift up but you have another plastic bracket in here so this means we need to get this over that bracket set the motherboard in there and now we can remove the battery so it says first pull out A and B then pull up so it doesn't specify what to pull up but we are going to pull everything up get A and B like that and pull up pull up pull up I guess we need to pull up A because B is still in here so let's see let's try to get the double sided tape out also because the new screen comes without double sided tape so we recycle this strong double sided tape okay I am going to align this film on the battery best I can and let's press down just a bit on the double sided tape like that and we have a perfectly fine battery in here 
Next we need to get the earpiece out and check to see if you have any light and proximity sensor in here but this is strange a strange surprise you have the light and proximity opening but we don't have anything on the screen on the motherboard so this is new let's use a little bit of heat to get the earpiece out Heat gets the double-sided tape under the earpiece softer and it's more uh, much more easier to detach the earpiece in one piece without breaking it. So let's see. We need to get this protection off. Also, we need to get this film off. We have the power and volume flex cable in here. This means we are good to go. But first, let's get this this thermal paste in here. Okay, so we have some thermal paste on the motherboard and some we recycled in here. I added some isopropyl alcohol on it to make it uh, more even. So get the earpiece in place. You have these two connection points that are in this direction and they connect to this on the motherboard let's get the motherboard inside try to get this side in first and let's get the selfie cam in place also and press down on this side where you have that um, plastic bracket so Press down until you hear that click and it got in place. Connect the display to the motherboard like that and press down on the flex cable to bend it so you don't have any surprises. Let's see. Next we need to get this um, charging board in place. And we have this copper mesh. Uh, we are going to get some liquid glue in here so so this vibration motor doesn't um, doesn't move okay let's get the antenna cable in place and the vibration motor and charging board in place but also your charging board and connector in here let's see we need to press down and everything got in place connect this charging cable to the mother to the charging board get the antenna cable back in its place 
press down on the vibration motor and let's see we need to get the battery in place press down so the double-sided tape gets glued to the new screen connect the battery to the motherboard get the buzzer back in place press down you should hear a click and get the bottom screws in place and now we need to get the fingerprint sensor connected to the motherboard and this shield in place while keeping an eye on the fingerprint flex cable and press down and get everything in place get the screw And let's also get the missing screw in place. Now we need to get a little bit of double sided tape in here. I am getting the thinnest I have. Let's see if we can make it go round it's not this is not working let's see let's try to get something done like that So I made a circle using small bits of double sided tape and this will keep the fingerprint sensor aligned and in place. Okay, last step is to get this aligned to the fingerprint sensor and press down on this side first. Check to see if your buttons are working and press down on the other side until everything is perfectly aligned. Get your SIM tray in place and we have finished our repair. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like, comment and subscribe. Have a good day! Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day.